Hey guys, I'm Christina and welcome to this week's episode of Lone Star Gun News. Monday, July 24th was a busy day for Lone Star gun rights. It was announced by State Representative Jonathan Stickland that constitutional carry has been filed for the special session. The new bill, HB 296, as it is currently written, would allow for anyone 21 years or older who is not prohibited by law from possessing a firearm to carry a holstered handgun without having to obtain a license. The bill also prohibits law enforcement from detaining an otherwise law-abiding citizen simply for possessing a holstered handgun, something that Democratic State Representative Harold Dutton has advocated for since the legislature first debated legalizing open carry during the 84th session in 2015, and repeals all applicable Texas Alcoholic Beverage Code provisions prohibiting the unlicensed possession of a firearm in certain businesses. Carrying in bars will still be prohibited both with and without a license, and a license will still be required to carry a concealed handgun on college campuses. Following Representative Stickland's announcement of HB 296's filing, he spoke with Lone Star Gun Rights about the bill. Take a look. Hey guys, Representative Stickland here. I just wanted to let you know some big exciting news. We just filed constitutional carry in the special session as promised. We got the bill number 296. And uh, let me be honest with you, we've been working on this piece of legislation for a while. Um, some of the concerns that some of the members of the committee had have been addressed. Um, we feel this is the strongest version of constitutional carry um, that is acceptable of getting through. We've been talking with the members. I continue to educate folks here in the House. We feel like the votes are there. We got to get this on the call. So um, I need you guys to help me do that. And um, if we can get this thing to the Texas House floor, I have no doubt that constitutional carry will pass with an overwhelming majority of the votes we need, including some bipartisan support this time. So there it is, House Bill 296. We've done our part. Now I need you to do yours. Thanks for all you do. Just before our meeting with Representative Jonathan Sticklin, over 80,000 signed petitions calling for constitutional carry were delivered to Governor Abbott's office by both NAGR and Lone Star Gun Rights. Per the Texas Constitution, the legislature is prohibited from working on any legislation during the special session that is not outlined in the governor's agenda. And since constitutional carry was not included, no work can begin on HB 296 until Governor Abbott amends his agenda to include it. If he does not, then constitutional carry will have to wait until the 86th session kicks off in January of 2019. Therefore, we need your help by signing our petition and by calling Governor Abbott to request that he amend his agenda. You can find the petition on our website at www.lonestargr.com and in the description included with our video. And that's all the news we have for this week. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and click subscribe to stay up to date with the latest Lone Star Gun news and Lone Star Gun reviews. Also, please like us on Facebook at Lone Star Gun Rights. I'm Christina Hodnett, and until next time, Lone Star Gunners, stay armed, stay vigilant, and stay informed.